What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to a brand new flashback video. EA have released an absolutely exceptional flashback card, flashback Danny Alves from PSG. Earn a flashback Alves celebrating his 2010-2011 season. This card looks exceptional. Four right back, high low work rates, not ideal. Three star weak foot, four star skill moves, amazing. However, his in-game stats are absolutely unbelievable. I am going to be a typical me here because there are a few things that I don't like about this card. But first and foremost, his pace is exceptional. His shooting is great. You could actually, you, he would be better served as a winger, starting with a five-back formation um, and maybe you know putting a fullback in at centre back that can move out would be great with this card. His vision is good. His crossing is great. His passing is great. His dribbling in general is great except his reactions are a little bit low. Uh, that is a problem. His defending stats in general are fantastic. His jumping is really good. He's got good stam, good aggression. Other than just 81 reactions, which in a card this good is probably um, still not even going to be close to an issue. This is such an exceptional card. This is a team of the season level card. This is amazing. What's even better about this is there are so many strong links to this Alves card. Neymar gives a perfect link if you wanted to start Neymar or Alves on 7 chem. Mbappe gives a strong link. Marquinhos and Thiago Silva give perfect links. Rabio gives a strong link. And uh, Kimpembe gives a strong link. Then you can also use players like the flashback Pato and put him down to a centre mid to start to give Alves a soft link to get him onto 8 chemistry as well. I am blown away. What's going to be super interesting is what requirements are needed it isn't two teams only again if this is an 84 and an 85 rated squads this is going to be unbelievable 150k or so for this card will be absolutely sensational it is an 85 and an 86 so it's going to be about a 200 000 coin card you're going to need one brazil one team of the week an 86 rated one barcelona and an 85 rated so let us start guys with the uh, no, let me do the 86 first. Let me get that out of the way. I wonder what they actually offer as the rewards as well. A rare mega pack that's really nice, a 55k and a prime gold players pack. So, a hundred thousand coins worth of packs, absolutely fantastic. So, here we go. We need one Brazil and one team of the week. Let me see what informs I've got to start with. Uh, I could throw in inform Neymar in there, that wouldn't be too bad. P give us good rating, get that team of the week done. Um, I don't really have any high-rated Team of the Week players that are tradable. Let me go and have a look at what untradable Team of the Weeks I've got. I really don't mind using that Lewandowski or the Dries Mertens. We're gonna, although they are, they're untradable, so that's not a problem for me. Oh, Alisson, there you go, perfect. 86-rated, Team of the Week and Brazilian. Fantastic. So after that, let us go to the Premier League and see what other 86-87s we've got. Vertonghen can go in, Azpilicueta, Ozil, Matic, Otamendi can all go in. Company and all the Warrell can go in. We might just end up building out a full Premier League squad here with a couple of with 187 here, and all you know. I know I know for a fact all of these 86s are like the bottom end 86 rated cards. We only need 80 chemistry as well, so we should be all right to be getting towards 80 chemistry. We'll pop all the Warrell in there. So we still we need three. We need we need a bit of chem here. Um. Let's have a look at my untradeable Prem players. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a big striker, I guess. Mane I don't want to use. Edison I don't mind using uh, as one untradeable. Mane is all Sterling I definitely don't want to use actually because of the fact he is going hopefully going to be player of the month. That takes us to an 82 is 72 chem. Uh, that takes us to an 85. So this is gonna get us. We are very close to an 86. We're one one rating away, it seems. So if I do have another 85, I don't. I don't. I want to use a Premier League player, re really. I don't want to use Mane, but he is untradeable. So I might. I, I'd be better served getting rid of an untradeable player. How many of these are untradeable? Allison untradeable. Company tradable. 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 Untradable. McTarian. Untradeable Mane, Untradeable Son, and Untradeable Edison. Do you know what? For half of that team being untradeable, I am more than happy to trade that in. Our Brazilian team of the week, uh, Alisson, is also untradeable. And do you know what's crazy? I have on my trade pile about five uh, Alisson team of the week cards that I packed during Black Friday. 
that I just held on to because I was like, ah, oh, you know, he was just too cheap. He was selling for like twenty-eight to thirty-five thousand coins. Where is my transfer list? Come on now. So hopefully, hopefully. Wait, what? Did I sell them all already? I might have sold them all already. I did sell them all. Do you know why I sold them all? Because I went and bought big icons like Hullets and, and Eusebios and Croyfs and such. But we get a rare mega pack, guys. There's some promo packs in store as well, which we will open. We get no walkout for our rare mega pack. We do get a board, though. Is it going to be a good board? Italian. Striker. It's going to be Mario Balotelli. So not the greatest look at that hair. Not the greatest uh, rare mega pack for me. Hopefully we can uh, get some, something else decent out here. Some coin unlocks or something like that. Some players would be nice that I don't have in the club. So we'll add those in. No problem at all. Um, some fitness cards. Some injury cards. Not bad. Striker center forward card. Not really worth all that much. Balotelli and Idrissa Gay can go up to the trade part. And we'll discard those remaining items. And let me know, of course, guys, in the comment section below what you think about the, uh, the Danny Alves SBC. Are you going to complete it? Does he fit into your team? I'd say the one sad thing is that he is the second right back that we've got i'm happy that ea have done a defender i'm sad that it's another right back it would have been much better if it was a center back or a left back or a cdm would have been great next up guys we're going to go to la liga uh, we need a barcelona player which obviously is what this uh, flashback is for it is the barcelona i have an untradeable luis suarez that would be moronic of me to use him wouldn't it yes it would don't answer that we've also got sergio busquets a Gerard PK. Uh, we can throw in Costa, Asensio, no problem, Vidal. We don't need Team of the Weeks or anything like that here. Uh, so we'll pop these guys in. I don't want to use... Uh, I don't mind using Parejo as well. And even Kalor Navas. We'll throw PK in there. We'll pop Costa up there. We need 80 chemistry again. With the, t with the setup we've got here, we should be able to build half La Liga and maybe half like Syria. Uh, we've got an 87 and an 86 in there now as well, which is great. I'll uh, we'll pop Neto in there. That's really good for chemistry. Let's now go to the Syria and try and get ourselves a couple of those defenders and like an 85-rated midfielder. Uh, Costa not interested in. So Manalas, Milinkovic, Savic can come in. Another centre-back would be good. Kadira we can try out. Skriniar, Chesney, no problems. Let's pop these guys in. So Milinkovic, Savic can go in. Manalas can go in. I don't know if we're getting close on the chemistry or not here. We're well above the threshold for the 85 rated squad, which is great. Uh, let's pop him in there. Let's pop Neto over here. That takes us up to 71 chemistry and 84 rated. We can go for a right wing. I mean, he's actually, he's actually enough. I think that's probably a little bit excessive. Can we get rid of an 86? Yes, we can. So we can drop down one rating at least here. Uh, so let me let me go back to the Syria. Let's see if we can put another Syria centre back in. Uh, Banatia instead of PK works, and we still have the Barcelona player as well uh, because we've got Vidal in there who isn't getting chemistry for us, but that's not a problem. And then Kadira can go in. So that that is the threshold. So that's the threshold that we're going to use there, guys. Happy to save on PK as well. In fact, PK is probably going to go way way high in price right now 30k is already up to i'm going to sell mine uh, he's probably going to go way high in price uh, just just off the back of the fact that he's a super high rated barcelona player and we're going to turn that in and we are going to get ourselves the prime gold players pack but more importantly we are going to get ourselves this danny alves who is going to go into my team and i'm going to show you the team that i'm going to be using him in i'm currently using inform lala at right back not anymore danny alves walking out sensational uh, i wish he would do more of this more often you know give us a left back next time around give us like i don't know what left backs are still active that could have great flashback seasons i don't know maybe like a, a flashback david alaba from that year where Bayern just dominated everything uh you know put him up there as like a 91 92 rated left back and boom but there you go guys so danny alves walking out there great great addition to the squad and as i say i will um We've already looked at his in-game stats. I will show you what I'm going to do with him in the squad. I want to have a look at him, actually, as... What do, what do I want to look at him? I want to look at him as a right-back with great chem and a right-back with bad chem. Uh, I've got a few other few other players. So I've got Juan Fran on the bench already. Um, my special... No, not midfielder. Come on. I hate the lag on this controller. It's honestly very frustrating. Uh, so we've got Danny Alves. Where is he? There he is. So Danny Alves, boom. So we pop him in at right back. Obviously, Varane there 
now doesn't get full chem. If I swap those around and swap those around, Varane still doesn't get full chem. That's a little bit frustrating. I would have to... Um, I don't have a Portuguese player. I'd have to change formation. But basically, Danny Alves on 10 chem. What would you give to him? An anchor chem style? I would. I, I would probably give him an anchor. Maybe you'd give him Guardian. Um, Gladiator, I definitely wouldn't. Uh, you, you could potentially argue that Guardian would be good for him. I, I think an anchor because boosting that physical is going to be important for Danny Alves because his physical is the worst, uh, the worst attribute on his entire card here. Um... Yeah, look at that. 90 heading, 90 marking, 98 stand, 99 slide, 93 interceptions, 99 jumping, 98 aggression, a little boost on strength, and then great pace as well. That is a phenomenal card. And if we popped him out at left back off chem, uh, we would need to... I would need to boost the other cards right up. Hold on. I want to get the, the full chem here. There we go. 98. I want a few more chem points. Let me pop Haji up top there. Uh, so then Danny Alves on 7 chemistry, he'd still get a decent boost there, about half the stats of what he gets on 10 chem. Uh, and then obviously on 8 chemistry, he would get, yes, wow, 8 chemistry is a massive, massive upgrade from 7 chemistry. So Danny Alves on 8 chemistry would actually be very, very good guys, definitely very usable. Let us go and open our Prime Gold Players Pack for completing Alves and then see what promo packs we've got in store. Can we get anything to give us some coins back for spending on this Danny Alves? No walkout for me yet again and no board either. It's going to be somebody that probably Eric Dyer or Jordan Henderson, an English CDM. I think those are the only two that are available. There you go. So Dyer it is. Uh, we'll send those guys to the club. We'll discard those guys and see what our promo packs are. Eight premium Electrum players packs. Now, these are actually quite good if you're doing league SBCs. Uh, you know, you get obviously, I think, was it six shinies, uh, six silvers, six golds. Um, or is that a pro No, that's a prime, isn't it? This is three shinies, six silvers, six golds. Um, but if you're doing league SBCs, you get a lot of great stuff. So it's not the worst thing in the world. There's eight of these packs as well. So now might be a good time to purchase. Go go get your sniping filters for like the French League Silvers, uh, for the Italian League Silvers, for the Bundesliga Silvers, and start sniping some as people are going to be opening these packs. Our first two packs, guys, not absolutely outstanding. See if we can move on to... Uh, see, let's just see if we get one walkout or inform would be nice. Or, or just a really, really nice high-rated silver card would be pretty good. <coughs> um... Can we go for the third? There we go. So no walkout in the third. No no board in the third either, unless that smoke thickened up heavily um, as we went in there. But I don't think it did. Oh, we get we did get a board. So uh, pair in our first decent player, 84 rated. Pop him into the club. Five of these to go. They're there for four days as well. That's interesting. That does that mean? Does that mean that Futmus is starting this Friday? Because the, or team of the group stage this Friday. Now, team of the group stage is a bit hard to dictate because the sixth game hasn't been played in the group stage yet. But I think you could still argue that you would know who the candidates are going to be for the team of the group stage. So there's that. However, uh, the fact that these run out on Friday is very interesting. I wonder if EA have got something planned for this coming Friday. Wow, I didn't have a single player in the club from that pack at all. Can we get one walkout, EA, from these packs? One walkout, nothing just yet. We've got the one board so far only in Perrin. Is there going to be anything in this pack? Cheeky little inform or something like that? I know I'm skipping through them. It's because it's just, if this not a walkout on this account specifically, I don't really care. Not from these packs. So, like, if it was other packs with only gold items in it, I'd probably watch the drop down and stuff because I've got more of a chance of getting a board, getting a, an inform or, or just, you know, a decent card. But as you can see, we're so far seven packs out of eight deep and we haven't got, we got one pair in and that's it. And we also got Regani as well from Juventus. But sadly, our pack luck is not in today. We don't get a board in the final pack either. This is going to be the end of the video. Let me know two things, guys. Number one, what you think about Danny Alves uh, in the description, in the comment section below. But number two, list me your top three uh, potential flashback cards that you would like to see in FIFA 19. This is going to be the end of the video, though, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. I'm out. Peace.